Salutations and good morrow, everyone. Welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be going over all the mutations that are currently in the game between the 8.0 and 8.2 release. Now, this is not any new mutations that have been added to the game, but a lot of you guys have been asking me to go through, talk about all the mutations that are currently in the game in 8.0, how to get them, and which ones are my favorite. Now, before we go any further, I want to invite everybody to subscribe to the channel because only one third of you guys who watch these videos are actually subscribed, and even less percentage, probably even like 2% of you guys who watch these videos actually click the like button so thank you guys all so much for doing that and let's hop in so the first one i want to talk to you guys about is buff lungs okay you inhale and your cells turn uh, burn bright with an enhanced energy capacity so with buff lungs you get this from burgle okay this one all it does is literally as it says it allows you to hold your breath longer when you go underwater i don't ever use this perk it's not one that's meant for me i have it just because i like having all of the perks in the game but like i said i do not use this one the next one is grass master like an insatiable lumberjack you're becoming a living lawnmower your intimate knowledge of chopping grass allows you to topple them with increasing ease so there are three phases to this um to this perk and this perk you get by literally cutting down grass planks after 40 grass planks you will unlock the first one after 80 you will unlock the second one and after 200 you will unlock the third perk the third version of the perk or phase okay each of these are going to lower the number of strikes it takes in order to cut down grass blades and weed stems i love this perk for what i'm building and i use it all the time but remember i said for building not for anything else for building so if you're not building do not use this perk because it is useless okay moving on to the next one this is Rock Cracker, okay, Rock Cracker, a path of destruction is left in your wake and they're and it's clear that uh, busting makes you feel good. Your little arms bring hammers down with e with ever-growing efficiency. This one is all about breaking rocks, the same as Grassmaster, except breaking rocks or big pebbles. Um, you get this by breaking rocks and big pebbles, and that same kind of uh, aspect for Grassmaster kind of goes along with it, where the more you break, the easier it becomes to break more. All right, going on, we have Ant Annihilator, and you guys are Ant Annihilator. Uh, the ant has become a familiar threat, and you begin to know your enemies inside and out death and devastation greet all ants that face you this is phase three for me because of the sheer amount of ants that i have killed and yes that is how you unlock this perk is by going through and killing a bunch of ants and as the phases go up you will be able to do more damage this i like this perk this is a great perk for you if you are going to be fighting ants because it allows you to do way more damage to them so keep this one up i hope that one day they add one of these for spiders moving on little fist the least favorite perk in the game for me the least use and probably the crappiest one to get in, in its own. Little Fist, your tiny limbs flail and crush foe after foe. With every swing, these bitty bones of yours harden and muscles tighten. In other words, you gotta punch stuff. You gotta kill things with your fists a lot. 50 things, and uh, actually, to kill things with your fists. And that is a very hard task to do. At the end of the day, that is the least damaging way to hurt anything. And the only way to get this is through aphids. But why I say it's so useless is how many times do you really go off facing things where you're gonna start punching it next to never you always have backup weapons and you always have other tools that can be used as a weapon instead of using your fist so really i don't see at the moment as of 8.0 to 8.2 a reason to get the little fist perk other than if you're like me you just want to have a completionist coup de grass i never take this off ever this is my favorite perk out of all of them uh discovering a beacon of hope in the darkness lifts your will to survive bursts of inspiration flash before your eyes in the heat of battle as you lamb blows one can only describe as lucky you get this by going through and finding the four leaf clover in the backyard go check out some of my other videos if you guys want to know the location of that um but once you get this what it does is it makes it so you critical more often so you'll do more damage per swing more often than if you don't have it okay moving on the juicy perk you get this by going around and reading the sides of all of the juice boxes in the backyard there are five of them that you need to go read once you have it and what it does is um it makes it so when you drink the juice that's on the ground it enriches you more than what it normally would if you were just drinking the juice standardly a cool perk i don't use it i don't need it but it's a cool perk nonetheless natural explorer tendrils of your memory map uh, uh every bump crack and path between each new landmark you find until the lawn becomes a familiar as the back of your hand powered by intuition your tiny feet skitter through the muck and weeds even quicker ever quicker so in other words 
with Natural Explorer, you will be able to move a little bit faster once you get this unlocked all the way. In order to unlock this perk, you just have to go around and find different landmarks that are in the backyard. Not that hard to do. A lot of people can tend to fill out this perk in about a half an hour as long as you just spend a lot of time running around the backyard and finding all the different things that are to find back there. Moving on, we have Cardio Fan. Now, this is really good if you're doing exploring. This is one of my favorite perks for exploring, so turn this one on if you're going to be doing any sort of exploring. Exhausting your tiny body over and over again, your cells adopt a more efficient respiration process. AKA, you can run for longer. Your stamina increases more and more and you use less stamina whenever you're running. This is a really good perk to keep on if you're fighting or exploring. A reliable friend, you get this one by reviving your friends five, 10, and 20 times, okay, to get it all the way up. Uh, life in the lawn is filled with narrow escapes that you must be right there for all of it. Your muscle memory mixed with the hope and determination makes a harrowing rescue of all the more probable so in other words it allows you to resurrect your friends in the backyard faster if you do not play multiplayer this is a useless perk for you but if you do play multiplayer you know you guys are going to be going and doing a lot of fighting this is a good perk to have on Moving on, we have Sharpshooter. This one's all about shooting things with your bow. Uh, the more things you shoot with your bow, the more damage you will do as your faces as your phases increase. Going on, Meat Shield. You guys get this one from Burgle. Your meat, uh, your size to meat ratio is off the charts, and you take hits like a champ. In other words, it makes it so you have more health. This is a helpful perk in the beginning of the game, but once you start getting armor sets, this perk isn't really helpful anymore unless you want to be a very tanky player. So I don't use it very often, but it is still a good perk. Fresh defense, this one you get from picking up a mint piece, not eating it, by but just picking it up. A plume of mint dust envelops you as sends a cool wave rippling through your skin. Cells activate as freshly slayer to combat the sting of all stinks and burns. So in other words, the stink bug and the bombardier beetle will do less damage to you if you're using this perk. Okay, not a lot less. It's only like 30% damage reduction, but they will do less damage to you. It's a one phase only. I don't tend to use this perk very often because a gas mask is all you need in order to to fight stink bugs and the bombardier beetle let's face it just run away from their goo they're not that bad all right the next one is chopper fury and bloodlust pump through your arteries fueling an efficient flow of hacking and chopping muscles acts as an extension of your angry little body in other words you become a berserker with an axe uh, this will make it so you do more damage with axe type weapons you know the regular pebblet axe or the insect axe when you're actually fighting things this will not affect chopping down grass blades but it will affect it if you're going to use your axe as a weapon you get this by just killing things with your axe going on you have smasher heavy strokes of power flood your little limbs and bring hammers down with unmatched force and intensity equipped it with a hammer your enemies will know true pain uh the insect hammer and the pebblet hammer that's what this one works with not the mint mace there is a different perk for that we'll get to that in a minute but with these perks it will make it so uh with this one it'll make it so you do more damage with a hammer if you're attacking bugs not against rocks but if you're attacking bugs it'll do more damage this next one is daredevil you also get this from burgle powered by perpetual flow of adrenaline as you skitter and leap through the yard uh risk assessment has no place in your mom uh, moment to moment thoughts repeated trial and error lets you leap with a uh, faith and confidence this allows you to fall further than you normally would without taking as much damage you literally get this from burgle like i said now this was nerfed in this update so it's not as useful as it was but also a really good perk if you're exploring javin linear range is your greatest ally as you reach out and stab your foes from afar spears are incredibly deadly in your hands and when thrown this is great for the peblet spear the bee stinger spear and the trident all three of those those work together for this one perk this is great for you guys who like to use a spear you get this by killing things with spears it's pretty good but at the end of the day it's a perk that is only there if you use spears a lot just like the um just like the uh arrow perk like the shooting arrow perk and stuff like that the axes the hammer all of that you get that through unlocking and fighting and the damage will increase as you get your break further up okay going on the next one we have is assassin small blades bur blur in your hands as you swing with them with absolute precision daggers are your weapon of choice and ensure your fo foes die swiftly now with this one it is all about using daggers the spider fang dagger the um larva blade the pebble dagger the bone dagger all those diving daggers everything like that this perk goes into all of those and by using that to kill enemies in the backyard you will actually increase the level of this perk doing even more damage with your daggers and if you're using a spider fang dagger this is really helpful because because not only are you getting that poison effect on things, but now you're doing more damage with it as well. And your adrenaline level when you're using it 
will actually go down slower because you have um because you're only using that instead of using something like a mint mace that you may be able to swing three times and do a ton of damage but with this perk plus your if you use like cardio fan your stamina is going to be up so high you're going to become a whirlwind of death moving through the backyard really helpful perk really like that one for fighting this next one is Mertine. A lot of people ask me how to get this perk because they don't get it very often. Push and pull thick rich pond water coaxes your gummy little body into becoming part of this world. Your permeable skin begins to utilize an electrochemical uh, gradient that allow, that propels your limbs like mighty phalangella uh, and aids in respiration. That is a lot of big words that my small brain doesn't understand, so I apologize for that one. But in other words, it makes it so you can swim faster. Okay, this perk will allow you to swim faster. You get this by swimming around in the pond for about 12 minutes straight not straight but just 12 minutes of in-game game time by swimming around going underwater going above water just swimming around a lot um and i do believe it also helps you hold your breath for a little bit longer but not a lot it mainly is focused on being able to swim faster and last but not least one of my favorite perks that i keep on at all times because my weapon of choice is the mint mace is the barbarian perk strong and reckless your pride it uh and your you pride yourself in using the biggest weapons possible. Your muscular arms have no problem swinging clubs with great force, aka the mint mace, the spiked sprig, and the ant club. All three of those will do more damage with this perk. You guys can see it's at phase three. For me, I leveled this up incredibly quick because of the number of things that I kill with my mint mace, and I keep this on constantly whenever I'm fighting and also whenever I'm exploring because you never know when you're going to need to pull out your mint mace and do some serious damage. You get this once again, like I said, by killing things with your mace. And that is all the perks that are currently in the game. There's not even any perks that are currently coming in development right now that I can actually spawn in the game to give you guys a forward look but that is everything so far so i really appreciate all of you guys who watched all the way to the end if you guys did watch all the way to the end i request two things in order for you guys to get a heart tell me what your favorite perk is and say that you watched all the way to the end and with that you guys will earn a heart on your post i will try to respond back to as many of them as i can let me know what you guys think is your favorite also don't forget to hit that like button and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one